welcome back gamers to another fluffy video. It's been a while since the last one, and by that I don't mean the Excalituba video. That was just a crazy one-off that'll probably never happen again. I've taken a long while to work on some unique stuff behind the scenes that will hopefully become the primary style of content on the channel sometime in the foreseeable future. Here's a few examples of the stuff that I've managed to create with the help from the Discord boys. I can't give you guys any more details other than it's supposed to be a style of pixel art animation, but I don't have everything set in stone yet. Please do let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Back to the video. We're only a few days away from Heart of Deimos, and while everyone is already reacting to the Helmet system nerfs, I'm just gonna talk about good old Loki here. Yep. Loki and his buddy Oxalus, and a few things that you may want to consider having ready to go in preparation for the soon to be released infested open world update. Assuming it doesn't get delayed or anything crazy like that. Oh, and timestamps in the description as always. Some of you real OG Loki mains out there are probably gonna cringe at the stuff I'm about to show and tell, but I've basically relegated this boy to chore-like tasks in Warframe, and that includes fishing, spy missions for getting them Ivara parts, I still don't have the blueprint, conservation for which Loki absolutely excels, mining, resource collection, and other grindy stuff you would usually do out in the plains or Orb Vallis. While Oxalus does help quite a bit, Loki's ability to simply disarm enemies with the press of a button and just straight up disappear from the battlefield make him an excellent choice for those of you boys who just want to skip the BS sometimes and just head for extraction without spilling your beans, if you will. This is the build that I run pretty much 99% of the time, nothing too special, just max duration and that's about it. It's also one of those rare few Warframe builds on a Marshmallow video without Prime sure footed. The only other build that I ever use is this one for going solo on Plague Star. Probably one of the best setups out there for depressed people. You probably don't know what I'm talking about. But hey, if you want any more info, I did make a separate piece on this. Links in the description. Now, why did I decide to talk about Loki and what does he have to do with the upcoming Heart of Deimos update? I want to be clear that it's all pure speculation from this point onwards. Of course, I don't have stuff like insider info. But I do have good inside jokes sometimes. <laughs> Cringe. If the new infested open world on Cambion Drift, I think it was called, if it's gonna be anything like the Plains or Orb Vallis, I think it's fair to say that we have a good chance of seeing similar side mission quests such as fishing and conservation adapted in a similar fashion in the new update. If not on launch day, certainly sometime later. And I personally feel that Loki excels at those mission types. Countless times while trying to capture a Bolarola or fish for Cynethids, I've had to deal with pesky corpus. It doesn't sound like a big deal, but trust me, even if those were minor inconveniences, which they are absolutely not, they do add up to the general frustration in Warframe. You don't want that. And speaking of fishing, Oxalis is a must in everyone's inventory. I know you want to say that the slight vision advantage that Oxalis gives when trying to locate fish is not really necessary and that you could fish just fine without him. I've been there. Things can go wrong. For example, when you're in the plains fishing at night especially, if it starts raining then you're pretty much freaked. Display quality and eyesight aside, fishing at night in a storm is not really an enjoyable experience. Maybe you like the challenge, in which case, let me know down in the comments. This is the build that I got on Oxyboy. There's nothing special here and he doesn't even have a reactor applied. I'm just showing this cause someone's gonna ask anyway. For mining of course, Smita Kavat is the way to go, but buying a cheap 3 day booster is better and more reliable than a cat, needless to say. It may not be a checklist of all the things you're gonna need for Heart of Deimos cause who knows what D has in store for us, but the Loki and Oxalus combo is one I feel you should have in your loadout if not for general use, at least dedicated to fishing and conservation. I want to know what you guys are doing in preparation for Heart of Deimos. Please feel free to share down in the comments, I'd love to read them. I'm just going to go back to work with the pixel art stuff now. The amount of effort required is probably going to keep me busy for the rest of my virgin life. Which is not a bad thing, right? 